What's up everybody, the doctor's in, Michael Prati here, once again with some Dragon Ball commentary practice, and I'm excited guys, uh, mostly because we have Tonga Kun from yesterday, um, we saw him go in a best of five against Kazunoko, um, and unfortunately didn't go his way, but today he's got another chance at bringing it back. Today he's playing against Tachikawa, uh, somebody we've seen a lot uh, recently, I know I've done a number of uh, his matches um, you know, he does play a really unconventional team of Beerus, Hit, Frieza. Nothing different today, still playing that team. Uh, and I'm excited because it is it is so unconventional, but they're all characters that have some really high upsides. It's just that their downsides are pretty down. Um, but, I mean, I think it's a good one because we also have Tonga Kun who plays Fat Majin Buu and Goku Black. So I think it's... Um, not Battle of the Low Tiers, but I definitely think it's an interesting combination here that we're going to be seeing. Um, and so let's just see how it plays out. Using that Beerus DP, so good. It's full invincible on everything, so you can use it so aggressively to make sure that you don't lose out on pressure or anything. Going to miss out a little bit on the... Full combo there. Catches the Frieza Z change though. Gonna get a snap here. Guaranteed. Give me that blue life. Weird angle on that super dash. Does get blocked anyway though. Tungur was re was ready for it. Wasn't ready for that though. Tachikawa was gonna get caught by the friendly assist grab from Zamasu. Down tech keeps him out of range for the God Slicer, but he eventually goes down to the Super Dash. Lots of beams on this team. Big 2H on the Vanish. That should be a decent punish. Set up with the discs. Uh, connected it, but he hit himself too. Got a little antsy there. Blown up by the... Kamehameha assist once again catching that vanish. He's so ready for them. Just puts him in the down, sets up the discs again, catches him again, catches himself as well though, baits the reflect for the kill, and quickly brings it back down to two characters apiece. Fat boo assist used going to be on cooldown for here, so it's not a long combo. Brings him to the corner. Gets him with the elbow as well. This is going to be it for Frieza, as long as he doesn't drop the combo. Oh, he actually didn't have any meter. Never mind. Catches the Z change. Not in a position to get the snap, though. Hit a character that has some really interesting tools. Has that counter. Gets a full punish out of it. Not going to be a lot of damage, though, because of the starter. Gets stuffed on that 2M as well. It's like a 30-frame startup. It's absolutely ridiculous. Disclaimer, not actual numbers. Frieza makes his way back in. Punishes Goku with some key blasts. Gets some laser eyes in there. Gonna actually spend the meter for the level 3 as well. Destructo Disc set up, brings it back. Doesn't connect. Gets the sparking though. Big trade there. Really in favor of Tongarakun though. And he is gonna manage to slip it in and get the kill. Just hit now for Tachikawa. And not exactly the best, you know, solo character. He's gonna get the opener there. Doesn't want to spin the meter just yet. Still does have sparking, and he's going to have to use it soon. He is two touches away from death just about. There it is. Good decision to spark there. Wasn't in any danger of getting clapped or anything. Drops him down. Reflect bait. Empty vanish, and that should be it. Just the one bar meter. It's all you need. Tachikawa bringing it back. One character piece sparking still on his side. Two minutes left in the match. That 2M not getting stuffed this time. Oh, 
Double Reflect is required there. And Tonger Kuhn, unfortunately, going to go down in the end. Really nice play there from Tachikawa. Able to keep the composure of his team. Didn't lose too fast. Didn't lose too many characters too quickly. And was able to make that last character work. I didn't... I was concerned about the hit but everything seemed to work out in the end that long 2m from beerus just connects and he's gonna get full combo sets up the orbs something that we've seen tachikawa do pretty effectively gets beat up by the z change is gonna lose corner pressure as well no meter though for tonger kun so he just has to do it raw Another big elbow, though. Quick Z change. This is definitely another snap. Just unfortunate timing there from Tachikawa. He did it last game as well, and he's got punished for it a couple times. He's definitely not too concerned about it. Tried to just walk back, but he was at the wall, so he gets jabbed out of it. He's going to lose the Beerus right now. Really unfortunate that he lost so much HP off of that uh, mangled Z change. Triple beams, only got hit by two, gets stuffed by the super dash though. Gonna be brought all the way back to the wall as well. More corner pressure for Tunger Kun. Can he make it happen? Z changes in. Eventually, just gonna get the jab opener, and now. He's on the Pursuit Destructo Discs again. <sighs> Slices himself up a little bit. Gonna get opened up as well. Tongue Raccoon taking a very quick lead. Already up two characters. And with Sparking Blast still available for both sides, there's a large hill to climb here for Tachikawa. He's done it before, but... This is not really the historical, you know, comeback kid character. It's hit. He's got a lot of problems. Good Reflect there gives him the opportunity to start his offensive. Level 3 for the knockdown. No real mix-up opportunity, though. It is, it is still just hit. Overhead from Goku Black brings him to the corner. Not going to spend the level 3. Brings the boo back in. And yeah, that's it. Stuffed on the super dash. Going to be just short of a bar meter. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Going to need a spark soon. There it is. Catches him on the command grab. And then finishes it with the level 1. Still two characters though for Tunger Kun. Not the best start, getting caught like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> Great reflex there from Tunker Kun. Keeps Tachikawa in the corner and gives him a full punish out of it. Is that enough to kill? It is. He's going to tie up the Series 1 apiece off of some fantastic reflex. Those were absolutely bonkers. Because he had to reflect the EX side switch and the follow up after that. He learned his lesson from the first game and knew that he had to double reflect. And it works out so fantastically for him and it gives him the game. And so now, just walk up to H. Are you kidding me? Catches him when he's trying to put the orb out. Reflect on the fat toss, but it opens him up for a dragon rush. And now back in the corner, fat in, gets the restand. Invincible DP, though. That's one of the Beerus' few, few advantages. Gets caught with some more fat throw. And man, Tachikawa is getting abused. Finally, going to get something going for him, though. 2H. Full combo and brings Beerus right back in. Knows that hits his really storied character. Wants some of that blue life back. But man, Beerus is just getting abused. Fat toss again. He actually just has to bring hit back in. I'm surprised.
Back in the corner. 400 frame 2M gets blocked, but he gets the follow-up. Gonna go level 1, level 1, and that's it. Fat Boo gonna go down. And now, Tachikawa finally on the offensive with an advantage. Ooh, a little bit tricky there. Did the upwards Kamehameha into the assist. There wasn't really anywhere for Tachikawa to go. And he ended up getting hit by it. Gets hit by the overhead. DP once again, so good. Misses the 2M follow-up, and now this is going to be problematic for Tachikawa. Definitely going to lose Beerus here. Everything tied up. Man, that, that 2M feels so bad when you just get punched out of it. Frieza comes in, catches him on the disadvantage. Instant level three as well. Give him some advantage. Empty jump low is all it takes. And that is another character going down. Goku, enjoy your dirt nap. And now one character left for Tungurkun. Goku Black, not the flashiest of mix-up characters. And he just gets popped off the rip. Brought all the way to the corner. Destructo Discs out. Not going to come back because he got hit. Wins the Key Blast duel as well. Frieza, he's got really good at those. Good Reflect. He gets caught by the assist, unfortunately. Gets the second part of the 2M. And now this is going to hurt. Ooh, missed the... Oh, no. So he missed the jab on the sliding. And then ends up winning it with the Vanish out the back. Oof. Wasn't so much a sparking bait so much as it was a... He just kind of got it. Sometimes it works out that way. So now 2-1 in favor of Tachikawa. So far, gonna get the first hit as well. Opening up Majin Buu. And man, Beerus has some really sick corner carry. He doesn't have you know, much after it, but man, he'll bring you one side to the other, and he gets caught by the Dragon Rush kid, or Majin Buu, gonna throw him over, get some fat in his eye, and kind of kicks him in the shin for it as well, not too much follow-up there, and now he's getting mangled, Bear is over here saying, how dare you throw your fat at me, I am a god, and now... Not, there's still really not too much damage coming out of this fat boo. You know, you can see here it was like a full combo, and even after burning the level 1, it was only like a 30% damage uh, combo. And there was a lot going on there. A lot of meter burned as well. Orbs trading with some smoke. Catches him with the hit assist, and this is not good. Majin Buu should be going down here. Probably won't need to change. Will change anyway just to get the new character on the field. And so he brings out Hit. It's been doing so much work for him so far this series. Man, what a combo. What a connection. All the way to the corner. Gonna have three bar or yeah, four bars a meter. Not a, not decided to level three though. Knows that hit's not that fantastic on the uh, post mix up there. Air Dragon Rush gonna get punished, and then just catches him raw. There was no block there. Really, just gonna finish him up. Gets the wall bounce. Doesn't need, even need to burn meter. Still seven bars sitting in the bank. This is problematic for Tungurakun. Last character, sparking available, gets him low. Not too much meter, though. That's going to be the end of it. He's going to get one back in just a second, but, man, that's, there's a lot of work to be done still. And really, anything can happen. Oh, my God. Just burns all six meters of that hit shotgun, and you saw how much damage it did off of a single hit. Instantly pops that spark to get all of it back, or some of it back. He lost quite a bit that he's just not getting back ever again. Using these 
these grenades to get some damage out. He's not building up meter very effectively, though, because he is using these, you know, level ones so much. Gets the corner carry. Gonna have an opportunity. Again, grenade gimping his meter resource. Oh, that was good. That was so tricky. He used the 2H in the air to keep him floating for just a little bit longer, and it catches Tachikawa pushing buttons, and he's able to come down with the overhead. Sparking still available for Tachikawa. Gonna pop it. You're gonna see some fancy dancy orbs, but he drops the combo. That's unfortunate. Double reflect. Still gets in there somehow. Just raw two inches, the man. What is that? Gonna drop him down to the corner. Gonna get more opportunity. Catches him with the super dash. And Tonga Kun coming back 1v3 and ties it up two apiece. What an absolute madman. So this is it, guys. Game five out of five. They're two apiece. That last game was so huge. Tunga Raccoon is going to be flying on cloud nine after that. And Tachikawa is going to have a lot of mental to work through now. Catches him out of the air with the fat throw. Fat throw again. DP. Not quite sure how Fat Boo got through it. Gets through the reflect as well. Really unfortunate there for Tachikawa. Not sure that series events wouldn't. Yeah, not sure that series events was what he wanted. Is going to be able to finish it out with double level ones though. And Beerus is gone within the first 25 seconds of the game. Tachikawa starting behind the eight ball definitely. However, he has some gas in the tank still. Gonna use this hit. Gets hit by the assist, but now on the offensive. He's on the far side of the corner, though. Up and over. Ooh, stuffs the reflect. It wasn't even active yet. And that means Goku is dead. And another 25 seconds pass, and this time it's in favor of Tachikawa. These guys are going blow for blow back and forth. Character-wise, I definitely think Tachikawa has the advantage, though. This this Majin Buu has not been that effective. Whereas the hit, obviously, as we can see, is just doing so much work for Tachikawa. Does have six bars a meter. He can let the shotgun rip. Not quite yet. Goes for the level one into the level three. And that's it. Last character. Sparking Blast still available. Five bars of meter for Tonger Kun. He has the opportunity. He has the chance. He could take it back. He could win this series. But he has to work for it. He has to do it all. Not Sparking Blast just yet. Oh, no. Can't vanish in the corner because of this. You get reflected on. You get beat up. Misses the level three and stuffs the Dragon Rush. Tonger Kun on the offensive. Tachikawa sweating in his boots. Gonna get dropped down. No level three follow-up, though. Tries to get in for the overhead. Gets it. No assist. Vanishes into the corner again. What a madman. He got punished so hard for that last time. Gets caught dragon rushing. When will he spark? He's going to have to do it eventually. Gets the reflect into 2S. Brings him to the corner. When does he spark and blast? Oh, this guy's just madness. He keeps vanishing into the corner. Tachikawa's not punishing it like he did that one time. But this is a lot of damage. Lots of sparking blast used up. Level 3. It does work, but it's not going to kill. He's going to have one more guess. One more chance. Apparently he gets two more chances. But he's making it work. Weird little cross-up situation there. Only the level 1 holy light grenade. And now, what can he do? Sparking blast is still there. Big punish there. Hold the reflect so that he or er, reflect holds the vanish so that he doesn't interrupt him, and then just punches him to death. And so now, last character piece stuffs the dragon rush, and this is Tachikawa on his last leg. Two H not gonna er, yeah, two H not gonna connect. Oh no, he catches him on the other side and finishes it with the vanish wall combo, and that is Tachikawa squeaking by.
absolutely madness. What what a series! Like after seeing Tonga Kun get three owed basically by Kazunoko yesterday after winning that first game to come in here and just have such a close match between Tachikawa. Just absolute craziness. That dude is a madman. He came back game four, 1v3, and then, you know, Tachikawa still had the presence of mind to come back game five and, you know, go down to a last hit situation. That's craziness. I mean, that set was so good. I'm so happy we got a chance to watch that. And, and, you know, congratulations to Tachikawa, who held it all together, even in the face of Tungur Kun just vanishing into the corner time and time again, even after getting punished for it. And, man, that was just an absolutely... I, I, I can't get over it. It was a crazy set. I want to watch that again. Uh, but, oh, man, congratulations to Tachikawa for taking the best of five series, three to two. And thank you, everybody, who tuned in today. Once again, I'm Michael the Dr. Prati, and I'll see you next time.